Hello, everyone. Welcome to my video tutorial for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Liana package. So here is the name for the package, a ligand recept analysis framework. This package was developed by the German group. Here are the developers. If you use the this package for your data analysis, you should acknowledge the original version. So the Liana package has a collection of cell-cell communication analysis method. So if you use this package, it has a wrap function to use any combination of ligand receptor method and resource. So if you haven't installed the package, you can use the guidance here to install the package. So I installed the package already. We can go to RStudio and show you how to run the analysis. Okay, you can see here, I loaded the package already. Then first, you can use the show resources function to see how many cell-cell communication resources are available in the current version. This package is under active development. In future, they will add more resources and measures in. So let's have a look at the resources. You can see at the moment, the package I installed has 19 methods. You can see the database for cell call, cell chat, cell phone, cell talk, iTalk, connect home, omnipath. And also you can use the show method function to look at the method. You can see here at the moment, they have 12 method available, you can see collect home, log FC, single cell signal R, cell phone DB, cell chat. You can see some method, for example, the cell chat has a call hyphen in the front. That means those methods are not a default method. If you want to use those methods, you have to put them in the method argument. I will show you how to do it later. So for the demonstration, the package has a small demonstration data derived from the human PBMC single cell RNA sequencing data. So let's use the demonstration data for today's video tutorial because it is very quick to run. Okay, you can see I loaded the demonstration data. It is a threat object, only 5.8 megabyte. We can click the data and have a look. You can see in this demonstration data set, it has 13,714 genes and it only has 90 cells. You can see the C. We have the RNA count and the data. We have the metadata and also we have the active ident. You can see in the active ident, we have the B cells, CD8, T cells and the NK cells. Then we don't have the images and the reduction method here. If you see the commands, we have two command list find the variable features and then normalize the data. So that's the data we are going to use for today's demonstration. So we loaded the data. It is easy to use the package. We can just run the Liana wrap function for the test data. You can see for the wrap function in the method argument, the default settings has the let me connect home, log FC, SC, and the cell phone. So there are five default methods for this wrap function. 
If we run this function, it will return the list of results. Each result corresponding to a method that we test in the wrap function. So let's run the wrap function. You can see down here it is running for the NetMe, Connectome, LogFC, EC, and the cell phone DB method. You can see the package is running for each method to get the result. OK, it is done. You can see now we have a result list. If we click the test result, you can see we have the analysis for the NetMe method, Connector method, LogFC method, SC and the cell phone. We have the same number of rows in each method, but we have a different number of columns. Let's use the SCA result as an example and have a look at the result. You can see we have the source, target, ligand, receptor, and also for the SCA method, we have the ligand receptor score. If you look at other methods, it looks very similar, source, target, ligand receptor, but down here, it's a method-specific result. For example, the ligand log2fc, logfc combo, those results are for the logfc method. So we run the wrap function. You can see the cell-cell communication pathways from each method. Then the package provides an aggregate function. Then we can aggregate and uh, obtain the consensus rank because the specific ligand receptor pathway may have different ranking by different method. If we use this function, we can aggregate the result from the file method into a table with consensus ranks. This aggregate function uses the RRA method from the robust rank aggregate package. So we can use this function to aggregate the result. Let's run. You can see now our five data list change to a data frame. You can see the first column are the ligand source cell type, then second column are the target receptor cell type. Then we have the ligand receptor complex. Here are the aggregate ranks. You can consider it as a p-value. We also have the mean rank. So after that, you can still see the rank for individual method for the anatomy Connectome, LogFC, SCA, and the cell phone DB. So this aggregate function average the ranks from file method and re-rank each signaling pathway. Because this is summarized from five different methods, they think uh, this rank is more reliable from the analysis. You can see it is very quick. We run the wrap function for the file method and we aggregate the result and rank the cell signaling pathways. So now we can visualize the top signaling pathways using some like a dot plot, heat map, and chord diagram. So first we can run the dot plot. You can see we are going to use the aggregate test result. Here for demonstration, we can set the source group as B cells. If you want to 
run other cell types, you can change the cell type name. Then we can use all the cell types, NK cells, CD8, T cells, and B cells as the target group. For the dot plot, we only plot the POP20 signaling pathways. And also in this function, it only plot the interactions have expression in at least 10% of cells. Let's run the dot plot. You can see we generated the dot plot here. Let's zoom in and have a look. You can see here is the dot plot. On the left hand side, it is the top 20 ligand receptor interactions. Then we set the source as B cells and the target is B, C, D, T, and the NK cells. So I showed you in the data frame for the aggregated test data. Here you can see the expression magnitude. This ranking comes from ligand receptor score and also the interaction specificity. It ranges from 0 to 1. This is the data come from the anatomy specificity edges column. So here are the default settings. Basically, you can just change the magnitude and the specificity use different column from different method if you want to change it. So this is the dot plot. Next, we can run the frequency heat map. You can see we have 735 rows here, so it is difficult to show all of them on the same heat map. So we can filter the test result, only keep the, the ligand receptor interactions below 0 0.01 for the aggregate rank. Let's filter the data. Now you can see we only have 91 ligand receptor interactions. So now we can run the frequency heat map. So now we generated the heat map. You can see on the left side are the scent cell type, that means the ligand expression, and the in the bottom are the receiver cell type, which means the cell type that express the receptor. You can see from the color of the frequency, the red color shows high frequency. So from here, you can see high ligand receptor interactions between NK cells and the CD8 T cells. In addition to the color to show the frequency, you can also see now bars on the top and on the right hand side to summarize the interaction between different cell types. So if you use the cell chart package, they frequently use the code diagram. If you want to generate a code diagram, we can also create a code diagram use the code frequency function in this package. Here you can set the source group as all the cell types and the target group as all the cell types. Then we can generate a code diagram. You can see we generated the code diagram to show ligand and receptor interactions between different cell types so we use the wrap function to run the five default method, but you can also use this package to run individual method if you want to see the result by different analysis. For the demonstration, we are going to use the cell phone DB method. Because you can use both threat object and the single cell experiment, object for the Diana package. So we use the threat object for vowel demonstration. The package also has a single cell experiment demonstration data set. 
we can load the single cell experiment data set from the package. Now we can run individual method. We can still use the Liana wrap function. You can just set the method you like in the method part and also the resource part. I copy the code from the online tutorial. They use the 100 for the permutation parameters. We can just run the online code. Let's run. Now you can see we only run the cell phone DB method. So we will get the result from the cell phone DB analysis. You can see now we have 2655 rows with 12 columns. But the load order results are significant, so we can field the data. Just keep the p-value smaller than 0.05 and also only keep the top 20 interactions. Let's filter the data. So now you can see we only have 20 observations here. That's the ligand receptor complex. So we need to go back to the test data and just keep the top 20 ligand receptor interactions to generate a plot. Let's run. We generated the plot and we can zoom in to have a look. You can see now that's the top 20 ligand receptor interaction from the result by the cell phone DB analysis. So here I showed you how to run one method. If you like, you can also use a combination method, but only use the cell phone DB database for the ligand receptor interactions. Basically, here is the demonstration. You can change all the available methods and their resources. Let's run three methods. Using the cell phone DB database, we can run. So you can see it uh, uses the NetMe FC and the log FC method. And we generated a list again because we only use the three method. Here we only have three list we can click. You can see we have the method for let me FC and the log FC. Again, we can aggregate the data, use the aggregate function to rank the ligand receptor interactions. Let's do it. You can see from the data frame, we have the aggregate ranking for the ligand receptor interaction between different cell types. Again, you can make a some plot to show the result. I already show you how to make the dot plot data map and the quarter diagram when we run the wrap function. So that's it for the Liana package. You can see if you install this package, you can run any method you like. You may still prefer use the individual package. But uh, at least you can try this method to compare the result. According to the Liana package, the aggregate function may provide a more reliable result. And another advantage is you install the Liana package, you can run all the methods using one package. Okay, that's today's demonstration. I'm going to stop here. I hope my video tutorial can help you understand how to use this package. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. See you next time.